everybody. It's been a while since I've made a video, um, but I just wanted to give you guys an update, a better update um, from my doctor's visit after my surgery, because I know I just kind of did a really quick half-ass nothing update, and I, I wanted to come back and actually give a better update. Um, so... I had my surgery. Everything went fine. She was an awesome surgeon. Like I didn't hurt or anything like I hurt when I had the same surgery in New Zealand. Um, there's nothing wrong with me. Let's just say that there's nothing wrong with me. She said, I've got scar tissue up close to my liver. Um, that most likely came from when I was pregnant in New Zealand and I was pregnant with twins. They died. Um, Miss miscarriage and they didn't leave my body. They were in my body for about a month and I started to get sick. Um, I had an infection, I had a fever. And after that I had to have a DNC. Um, she said that infection most likely gave me scarring is what gave me the scarring. Um, but my one tube that's there is not blocked. Um, I didn't even have any like cysts. Um, there's no explanation for my weight loss or my bleeding, my, my over bleeding and my extreme excruciating pain. I don't have, um, endometri endometriosis, endometria. I don't have that. Um, she said just sometimes mother nature's a bitch. They, they can't see anything wrong with me. Um, she even told me that there's no reason I shouldn't have been able to have a baby because my uterus is fine. She said, there's actually nothing wrong. There's literally nothing wrong with me. And so I don't know what the issue has been all these years or what's been going on, but that's another mystery. Um, so ovarian cancer and all that's been ruled out, but like colon cancer, other kind of cancers have not. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, so I am, I, I started out about 200 pounds and I am like 179 right now. And again, there's been no explanation for it. It's not like a huge weight loss, but for me, that's big, especially because I don't just lose weight at all. I went from like a size 18 to a size 12. I have a beautiful gown that's a size 12 that I, it was like this, I couldn't even come close to, um, closing it. And today I was able to zip it up. I mean, I, my boobs are, it was a tight squeeze for my boobs, but I zipped it up. And, um, I thought I was going to have to cut it out and make a corset out of it in order to get it on and it fit, um, which is a great feeling. You know, I feel really, really good. And, um, I have a video, I don't know if I'm going to post it or not, cause I'm super embarrassed. I don't have a lot of interaction on here or followers anymore. So I don't know if I want to quite humiliate myself like that for nothing. Um, but I have realized that. I also have a lot of loose skin. So I've got chunks and chunks of loose skin. Um, and in the video that I made, I actually show all of it. Um, because with a corset on and when I pull everything tight, I I'm looking pretty good. You know, for me, um, I'm pretty happy with myself and where I am. But I've got a lot of loose skin. And so that skin really bothers me. And it makes me really self-conscious it irritates me. I I'm thinking I would really like to get a tummy tuck or something to get rid of it. Um, but that's, you know, something far, far, far in the future if it ever does happen. Um, but yeah, health wise, I don't know what's wrong. Um, because apparently there's nothing wrong and I don't know why I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm in so much pain. It kind of sucks because not having a reason for it means there's also not an answer for it, which means every time my period comes around, I'm going to be in agony and nobody knows why. So on top of that, um, I have been taking Zoloft. Um, I was prescribed that because I am heavily, heavily suicidal at the moment. Um, started self-harming, crying all the time, sleeping all the time. Um, our life still has not improved. Um, if anything, it's gotten worse. Um, can't find jobs. They, we just, we've got no money. We've got nothing. And Josh has been selling plasma just to pay for the couple bills that we do have. Um, I mean, everything's just gone so far downhill. It's, I've never struggled like this in my entire life. And I've been literally homeless in homeless shelters 
have lost everything and I, I've still never suffered the way I'm suffering now. And, um, I went to the doctor and I said, I really need help. I need something because right now the only reason that I can see not to kill myself is my cat. I mean, I know that sounds stupid, but, um, my little kitty Amara that I always show you guys, um, she like, she's like the light of my life. You know, she follows me everywhere and she, she loves me so much and I love her so much. She's my baby and I couldn't imagine killing myself and leaving her alone because I, you know, she wouldn't understand where mommy went and I couldn't, I, I can't stand the thought of her walking around the house looking for me. I say the house, but we were still living in a garage. Um, but, uh, I, I just can't picture her being here, like looking for me and crying and crying. Like it breaks my heart. So for her, I, I, I hung on, <laughs> I'm still here. And I know that's really bad and probably stupid to say, but it is what it is. And it's the truth. Um, so I went there and I showed the doctor, um, the cuts I had, um, been doing. And, uh, I was like, can you please help me? It's getting harder and harder now to find a reason to live, to want to keep going through this. I can't do it anymore. And I don't know what else to do. So she put me on Zoloft and the Zoloft, um, it has helped a lot. Like there are times when I know, like I, I never really realized what a highly anxious person I am, but being on Zoloft, like I don't feel that same anxiety, you know, like I would walk around and it would feel like butterflies in my stomach and chills all at the same time for almost everything my heart would just speed up instantly. Like if I got mad about something, like say if I asked Josh to do something and he gave me attitude, there was no middle ground. It just went from zero to suddenly I'm, I'm on fire. I'm ready to go. And I, I can't calm down. My heart is like pounding out of my chest. I feel like I want to kill somebody, you know, like I, I've got no control over my emotions and you know, my calmness or whatever. It's just blow up, straight blow up. And that fucking sucked to feel like that, but that's all I've ever known. So I was kind of scared to get on anything that would change my mood because I've never, I've never known anything aside from how I've always been, you know, if that makes sense. And I'm like, will I lose my identity? Will I, I mean, how, how would life be if you're not walking around feeling like this all the time? I couldn't picture it. And I got on it. It took a while, you know, it takes a little while to start working, but I, I did start feeling changes right away, just not major changes, but I started noticing, you know, things that would normally piss me off. I, I was able to stay calm and have a more realistic response to things that were happening. You know, I, I don't instantly get pissed off and lose control of my emotions anymore. I'm able to just like chill and like deal with things more um, what's that word? I guess like everybody else would, you know, I, I want to say realistically, but that's not really the word I'm looking for. You know what I mean? I, I'm handling things more the way people should handle them. And, you know, with more thought and calmness, um, rather than just getting pissed off and suicidal right away. Um, I might have to up the dose though, because, things again, like I said, they're getting worse again and I'm starting to feel that feeling again. And, um, it's not as bad as it was last time, which is, I don't know, like worse in a way, because last time I was all, I'm trying like really hard to find the words to explain it. Um, last time I was fueled by emotion when I felt like I wanted to kill myself. I wasn't thinking clearly now I'm thinking clearly and I know exactly how I would do it, what I would say on my, I know everything. I've got everything planned out this time. I can think about it clearly and that's scary. Um, so I'm trying to avoid that. I don't want to leave Josh alone. I don't want to leave my kitty cat alone. I, I don't want to do that, but I also don't want to keep suffering anymore. Um, so I don't know. I'm, I'm on a, a tightrope at the moment and I'm trying very very hard to pull myself onto safe ground and just live and be stable and just 
find more reasons to just be here, which is just so hard. You know, it is, um, I miss my mom all the time. I miss my dad. I have dreams about them a lot. I miss Dorian. Um, I don't know. I just feel alone, I guess, and, uh, sick all the time, pain all the time, not knowing now why I'm sick or in pain. Um, I, I'd really hope to get some answers. I mean, I'm happy to be healthy, but I'm not happy that I don't have answers. So I'm going to keep working with the doctor and seeing what's going on. But I just wanted to update you guys quickly and let you know what was happening and, you know, how everything's been. And I, I know I, I probably sound more depressed than I have been, but I'm really not. I'm kind of distanced from it, if that makes sense. I'm, I'm depressed, but right now I think I have a handle on it. I'm not delirious, you know, with it. Um, I'm pretty stable at the moment. Uh, I think the pills have helped so much. I have an appointment coming up, a video interview, and um, I'm going to be talking to them about raising my dosage a little bit just to kind of help quench what I am feeling right now. Um, but yeah, I'm doing everything I can, seeing counselors and stuff, and I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm really, really trying to get my health and my physical and my mental health under control just so I could maybe enjoy life for once because I really don't. Um, but yeah, I guess that's about it for now. I will see you guys around. I don't really post too much here because I get no interaction. It's kind of boring. I don't really know what to post, what to say, what to do. Um, I am on TikTok though. Um, I don't know who's on TikTok. I hated TikTok and now I have more fun there because I could just post short little dumb videos and it, my short little dumbness fits in there better than YouTube now. Um, TikTok did delete my account, so I had to make another one. So I'll link it in the description here if you guys want to go and give me a follow. That would be great. If not, that's cool too. And I guess I will see you when I see you.